Disney's The Hunchback of Notre Dame. From high in the bell tower of Notre Dame Cathedral, the hunchback Quasimodo looked down on the city of Paris. The kind but unfortunate young man had been raised by Judge Frollo, a cruel and powerful official. Quasimodo had been forbidden to ever leave the tower. Every day he obediently rang the cathedral bells and wondered how it would feel to be free. The highlight of the year for Quasimodo was watching the Festival of Fools, a day of masquerading and mischief. This year, his gargoyle friends Hugo, Victor, and Laverne urged him to go. Just sneak out, said Hugo. Frollo will never know. Finally, Quasimodo agreed. He slid down the side of the cathedral and tumbled into the crowd. Clopin, a leader of the gypsies, was announcing the entrance of a dancer named Esmeralda. Quasimodo had never seen anyone as beautiful as this gypsy girl. Then it was time to choose the King of Fools. Since this was supposed to be the person with the ugliest face in Paris, the crowd chose Quasimodo. But when they realized that he was not wearing a mask, they became frightened. Clopin quickly pointed out that Quasimodo had the face they were looking for and crowned him. Quasimodo could not believe his good fortune, until some soldiers began to taunt him. Soon everyone joined in the cruelty. Frollo was furious with Quasimodo and did nothing to help him. Only Esmeralda came to Quasimodo's defense. How dare you interfere, Frollo shouted. Then he turned to the captain of the guard. Arrest her, Captain Phobos. Esmeralda and her pet goat, Dolly, disappeared into the crowd. Cleverly disguised, they slipped into the cathedral. Seconds later, Phobos followed them in. He tried to save Esmeralda from Frollo by telling her to claim sanctuary, the right to protection inside a church like Notre Dame. As they spoke, Frollo arrived. Arrest the gypsy, he ordered. I can't, sir, Phobos replied. She has claimed sanctuary. Set one foot outside in your mine, Frollo warned Esmeralda. Esmeralda found Quasimodo on the bell tower. He showed her all the bells, and the two quickly became friends. Esmeralda tried to convince Quasimodo not to believe the cruel things Frollo had told him. Then she sighed. How will I ever get out of here? I'll carry you down to the street said Quasimodo. Before she said goodbye, Esmeralda gave Quasimodo an amulet. If you ever need a safe place, this will lead the way, she told him. When Frollo learned of Esmeralda's escape, he was enraged. Round up all the gypsies, he ordered his soldiers. Find that gypsy girl, even if you have to burn down the city. But Phobos refused. That is wrong, he said. I won't follow the orders of a madman. Phobos tried to escape, but he was hit by a soldier's arrow and fell into the river. Esmeralda, who had been hiding nearby, rescued him when Frollo and his men were gone. Esmeralda took Phobos to the cathedral. Now he's a fugitive like me, she told Quasimodo. Be careful, my brave friend. Promise you won't let anything happen to Phobos. I promise, said Quasimodo. When Phobos awoke, he asked Quasimodo to help him find Esmeralda. Quasimodo was too terrified to disobey Frollo again, and he refused. Then he remembered Esmeralda's kindness and offer of help. This amulet is a map, he told Phobos. It will lead us to her. And lead me to the gypsies, thought Frollo hiding nearby. Phobos and Quasimodo found the gypsy hideout. Suddenly, Frollo burst in. After twenty years of searching, I have found the Court of Miracles, he cried. You are all my prisoners. Phobos and the gypsies were forced into prison carts and taken to the square outside Notre Dame. Quasimodo, who had been chained inside the tower, heard Frollo announce, Esmeralda will now pay for her crimes. Quasimodo, save her, Hugo begged. Quasimodo summoned all his strength and broke his chains. Then he swung down the side of the cathedral, found Esmeralda, and carried her up to the tower. Sanctuary! Sanctuary! Quasimodo shouted. 
Meanwhile, Phobus freed himself and called on the citizens of Paris to stop Frollo's men from storming the cathedral. The gypsies joined Phobus in the battle. Frollo hurried to the bell tower. With sword drawn, he chased Quasimodo and Esmeralda out on a ledge. Then the statue that Frollo was standing on cracked, and he plunged to his doom. Esmeralda and Phobus led Quasimodo out of the cathedral and into the cheering crowd. No longer a lonely outcast, Quasimodo was everyone's beloved hero.